Hi, I'm Josh, and I have a question that I can't answer because I'm hitting the laser. Are you being the right person for DevOps? Are you sure? How do you know? Fortunately, we have this talk to find out. <laughs> this talk started out because my wife bought this sign uh, and put it in our kitchen, and I love it. Marriage is more than finding the right person, it's being the right person. And I think this is an important reminder for all of us. The Phoenix Project, I assume most of you have at least heard of it, hopefully most of you have read it, highlights uh, the relationship between the CEO and the CIO. And it's described by one of the main characters as this dysfunctional marriage, where they both feel powerless and held hostage by the other. Is this the same between ops and dev? From the dev perspective, which I know there are many here, why does it take so long? Why can't you give me what I asked for? If I wait for all your processes, I'll never be able to get anything done. On the ops side, we say, well, why can't you be more patient? Why can't you use what I've provided? What's, why is it not good enough? Without these processes, we risk problems with availability and manageability issues. All are perfectly reasonable. So being the right person for DevOps is actually being more than just your role, whether you're ops or dev. You have to be more about the relationship between the two. Ways you can fix this. Communicate and learn about your partner. Identify what's important to them. How do they like to be communicated to? What is their communication style? It's a great talk we had yesterday about differences in communication. Learn about your, your peers and your coworkers. Talk less, listen more. I mean, we've heard this when we were in elementary school. You got two ears, one mouth, use them accordingly. We love talking about ourselves. Take advantage of that and let other people talk. Hearing is not listening. I know some of you are hearing me talk and some of you aren't listening. That's okay. Active listening means that you're hearing what is being said, you've internalized, and you could repeat that back, right? Just remember, just because you hear something doesn't mean you were listening. Increase your empathy when you're listening and you're communicating. So listen actively, right? Be engaged. And when you respond, don't respond defensively. Respond selflessly. Think about the other person and be an empathetic or sympathetic if you can't be empathetic to what they're talking to you about, which leads to thinking of others. It's not always about you. You are just a contributor in the work. Now, this isn't to, to diminish your value, but what you do impacts other people, and you should be mindful of that and think of others. While think of, thinking of others, consider doing for others. Be sensitive when others actually need help, and then engage in that help. And it's easier when you've actually dedicated time to do that, right? Apply time in your day or in your week to help other people. Also, teach other people. You have a great deal of knowledge that you can share, experiences that they maybe haven't experienced yet, even if they're a senior developer, ops person, or a junior person. Go under the premise that there are no stupid questions, okay? There may be stupid answers, but there should be no stupid questions. Be trustworthy. This one's very, very difficult because you have to be selfless sometimes to be trustworthy. You have to be honest with people, right? Take yourself out of the equation to agree and be transparent and let people know that they're getting honest feedback and honest information from you consistently. Now we move on to taking care of yourself. You have to keep your interests as you work and apply in, into the work and organizations you do. Be more than just the work you do. All the talk about burnout, a big part of that is maintaining focus on yourself and applying those interests. Take some me time. Enjoy a vacation. I used to hate vacations. Now I love them. I've doubled down. I've tripled down on vacations. They're so important. And there's nothing better than mental health days. Right? This is, your, your brain is part of your health. Take the time. Invest in yourself. Expand your knowledge. Right? Uh, understand that you can go more than just being deeper in your subject matter. Understand how your subject matter affects other people and affects other uh, systems. Celebrate together. You're not doing any of this on your own. You have other people. Identify how people like to be praised and do so. Be vocal, don't be silent about it, but be respectful. Take time to celebrate. Once you have reached certain milestones and accomplishments, actually enjoy yourself and take a break. Don't go right to the next sprint or go right to the next project, but do resync right after the celebration and everybody's you know, ready to, to go. Because the key here is, in order to be the right person for DevOps, you have to be improving yourself, and you have to be working to improve for other people. So the question is, is when you leave here, are you going to be the right person for DevOps? Thank you.